How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool hologram shader transition. It's all done in the nodes. You can do it on any model, any shader, but first let me shout out today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes, creative and curious people. Skillshare has so many good classes on there, not just Blender, but composition, lighting, color, so many good things. One course I really love is Remington Markham's brand new Your First Animation Blender course. You can learn so much good stuff there, especially if you're a beginner. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare is super affordable. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. No matter what 2021 brings you, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online class because time is what you make it. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare believes a strong community is essential to personal growth. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who help provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a 30% off annual premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. Now let's get back into the tutorial. All right, so what you can do is start out with any model you want. It's either textured or not. And uh, so I'm just gonna use this little skull model I had here. I just import even a primitive and just add the principled, whatever you'd like to do. So what we're gonna do is hop straight on into shading and start making this really cool shader. I'm gonna turn off this timeline and uh, just get these guys out of the way. So here we have our skull, and um, this is just all the image textures plugged into my principled. Um, if you're not using a uh, model with image textures on it, then you would just have your regular principled, and it would look something uh, something like that. So you have just like a green color. It doesn't matter. What you'll just need is some type of material already, you know, plugged into your model. Because what this hologram shader is, or transition, is an addition to your texture that is already applied to a model. So we're going to go ahead and make that right now. So first, let's just go ahead and make the hologram shader. So I'm going to bring the material output down here, and we're just going to pretend that this doesn't exist, and we're going to make a whole new material. So I'm actually going to do it on this skull model, uh, the head of the skull, because there's separ separate parts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a mix shader. So shift A, search, and then look up mix. We're going to add that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get an emission. EM in the search, emission. I'm gonna plug that into the bottom socket of the shader. And now we have some emission going on. And I'm gonna hit these guys and hit G to bring it down for some more space. Now I'm gonna get a transparent. So TRA, transparent BSDF, plug that into the top socket here. And now we need to differentiate you know, how these are gonna play. So first off, you can see how some transparency is already happening here. Now, by default, it's not going to do that. So what you're going to do is once you have that transparent node plugged in, you're going to want to click on the material tab right over here and go to settings. And right here on blend mode, use alpha hashed. Now, alpha hashed is a preference here. You could use alpha blend and get a more smooth looking transition here. And I'll explain that a little bit later. I like alpha hashed for this because it makes it look a little more real and less kind of real time EV looking and almost like it's using cycles. Uh, so we're gonna put the mix shader up here and let's go ahead and get a color ramp. So we got our color ramp here, plug it there into the factor and we're gonna get a layer weight. So L-A-Y layer weight and use the facing output into the factor here. So now we're gonna get this really, really cool look. I'm gonna go from linear to B spline so we get a smoother transition. So now we have this really cool looking hologram thing and then I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a light blue and put my strength at three. And now we have this really cool thing. Now I mentioned alpha hashed. If we go to alpha blend, if you like the way this looks, you can go ahead and use it. That's a preference. I like the way alpha hashed looks. I think it's really cool, makes it look really real. I just like the whole thing. Again, total preference here. So how are we gonna make this thing transition? So what we're gonna do is bring our material output back up here and we're gonna wanna get a mix shader. So M-I-X, we're gonna mix these two shaders we've created. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these guys, hit G, 
and then I'm going to put him on the bottom socket and put this principled here, which has all these image textures connected here. So now they're mixing, but I don't like the way they're mixing in terms of, you know, wanting to make it look like a left to right or up and down transition. So I'm going to hit shift A, get another color ramp here, and then we're going to plug the color into the factor. Now let's go ahead and get in a gradient, GRA, gradient texture. Now, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you're going to want to hit Control T. If you don't have the Node Wrangler add-on, go to your add-ons in your preferences and look up Node Wrangler. It comes with Blender by default. So we're going to go ahead and use the object coordinate here. Now, that's really important because if you're using this shader on all these teeth, which I need to go ahead and reconnect the uh, material output on the teeth material, once you go ahead and actually put this on the teeth or say you're not using this exact model here and you're using a different model with a whole bunch of little pieces in them, what you can do is with that generated output, it'll treat them like they're all one object and it goes you know, across all of them rather than treating them individually, if that makes any sense. So now that we have that, if you want to change the direction that it's moving, you can see how it's already transitioning here. And uh, let me see what particular, it might be Z. Yes, yeah, so it's the Z output. You can see you can make it go up and down. Uh, with that, I like the right and left motion. And then you can use this color ramp to tighten up that gradient if you like. I personally like the gradient it has already. Then you would use the X location here to actually transition them, which is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up a timeline here. Click this, click on timeline, and then we're going to animate this just to show you how to animate it. So say you want it to start completely just showing um, bone. So we're going to go ahead and go to where it stops right there, right click, insert keyframe, and then say one, two, three, four, right about there. And then you can go ahead and bring that in like this, right click, insert keyframe, and then you have a really cool transitioning. I didn't completely finish it here. Um, I would make it go a little farther, but you have a completely transitioning hologram shader here that you can go ahead and apply to other objects like that. Um, let's go, let's just go ahead and redo that animation really quickly because I don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna click on this so we can actually see it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and complete the animation, replace keyframe. And then there you go. It completely transitions through and you can do that for, on other objects and you have a really cool hologram shader. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff and I'll see you in the next video.